Please, please all stand for the entrance hymn. Come, let us sing, let us praise the Lord, and gather in us all doors to worship His name. Come, let us praise, let us open our hearts to receive His blessings and to feel His love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us thank God because we have been gathered again this afternoon. Thanking Him for the blessings of life and for the graces that we received throughout this week. As we prepare to celebrate these mysteries of Christ's love, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, my brothers and, and sisters, sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You son of man, I have appointed watchman for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die. And you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, the wicked shall die for his guilt, but I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt, but you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for He is our God, and we are the people He shepherds, the flock He guides. If today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear His voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except the love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law, the commandments, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not kill. You shall not steal. You shall not covet. And whatever other commandments there may be are summoned up in this saying, namely, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Alleluia. And with 
with your spirit. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he doesn't listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a gentile or a tax collector. Amen. I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of our Salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I have attended a funeral service, and it was a very lonely. Of course, funeral services are always sad, but it was the loneliest funeral service I attended. It's because that when the priest is doing the blessing, one of the children of the family, of course the father died, and one of his children came and was crying so loud and was saying that, how come that you did not wait for me? I could have said my reconciling words. And he was embracing. He was embracing his father's coffin with all his might. Sad for me because I thought of myself, bakit ngayon pa lang? Malamig ng bangkay? Hindi na mararamdaman. Hindi na mapapakinggan ang anumang hilingin ng anak na iyon. Mga kapatid, I remember this story while reading this gospel this Sunday. Of course, this Sunday calls us to do fraternal correction. Pag may nagkamali, lapitan. Huwag imarites. Pag may nagkamali, kung hindi maniwala sa iyo, call another person to be a witness. And if not, then gumawa ka ng ibang bagay. It calls for a dialogue. And I remember the third encyclical of Pope Francis, Pratelli Tutti. Ito po'y pinakamaliit niya kasi maikli lamang itong encyclical na ito. Ang ibig pong sabihin ng Fratelli Tutti, ito po'y Italian words, lahat tayo'y magkakapatid. Fratelli Brothers, Tutti All. So lahat ay magkakapatid. Inspired by St. Francis's, you know, the, the attitude of St. Francis of Assisi uh, to God's creatures, treating them as brothers, as his brothers and sisters. And Pope Francis started with this world that is like having a culture of walls. Ang sabi po niya, ang mundo ngayon parang may kultura ng mga pader. Ala, talam natin po ang mga pader, ano? Sa inyo yan, sa amin ito. Separation. Nakakalungkot daw pag ganito po ang buhay ng tao. 
At dahil dito parang ang mundo na ginawa ng Diyos na napakaganda at sinabi niya sa mga tao na mamahala ka, pagyamanin mo ito. Eh parang hindi nagiging kaakit-akit, lalo tigit kung ang pag-uusapan ay ang pakikipag-ugnayan ng bawat isa. Ang sabi po niya, pag namayani sa tao ang kasakiman, ang pagkamakasarili, then he closes his door. And closing his door would not provide a dialogue. And he would not give the chance for others to be reconciled to him or for himself to listen to others. Napakaganda po ngayon sa simbahan, ano? Katatapos pa lamang nung mga diocesan, parochial, synodality. Nagkaroon na ng mga tinatawag na continental. At malapit na po yung synod on synodality coming October 23. Ang nais ng Santo Papa, pakinggan ang mga tao. Dati-dati ang nagsisinod lamang po ay eh, ang mga obispo, mga kardinal. Pero this time, ang sabi ng Santo Papa, go to the peripheries. Puntahan yung mga nalilimutang kausapin ng simbahan, pakinggan ninyo sila. Parang sinasabi niya, tanggalin ang mga pader. Ang sabi po niya, ano? Make bridges. At alam natin, kung yung separation, nagiging bunga ng mga walls, ang mga tulay nag-uugnay. Kahit ka nasa kabilang pangpang, kung may tulay, makakarating ka. At ang pinakang susi po ng mga bridges na ito, ay ang ating pagtingin sa kapwa dahil tayo mga kristyano at mga katoliko, meron tayong pag-ibig. At ang sabi po niya, yun ang sukatan ng ating ugnayan sa ating kapwa. Hindi yung sukatang meron ka, mayaman ka, sikat ka, malakas ka, makapangyarihan ka. Pero paano kung hindi mo naman kaimik ang iyong kapwa? Kung ikaw ay nagiging pader, kung ikaw ay nagdudulot ng separations, kaya sabi po niya, gawin ang mga tulay. At dito, yun ang gusto ng ating Panginoon. Ano? Mahira po kasing mabuhay sa mundong ito ng malungkot ka dahil ang feeling mo, ikaw lamang. ba diba, naalala natin yung awit, No man is an island. Kami po, by the way, ay am from Marinduque. Ang Marinduque po ay isang island. Pero magandang tingnan kapag nalaman mo na hindi lamang pala kami, meron palang 7,000 pa. And 100 islands. Depending po kung low tide daw, ano? O high tide. So ang dami palang kumpul-kumpul ng mga isla. Eh tayong mga tao, ganon. Pero hindi tayo pinaghihiwalay dahil merong sama ng loob o di kay galit ka sa iyong kapwa. Gusto ng Diyos na putulin ito pong dahilan ng pagkakawatak-wata. Kasi what is the world if it is divided? Lalo na napakalaking tanong kung ang mga Kristiyano ang nabubuhay dito. Bakit? Malaking tanong, namatay? Bakit ngayon lang? Nabuhay kasi siguro pong matagal na hiwalay. Ano? Kaya, my dear brothers and sisters, as we come to this celebration of the Mass, let us listen to the call of this gospel reading and the call of Pope Francis today. Tandaan natin, lalo tigit, Kapag tayo nagsasama-sama, napakaganda po nung last part of the gospel. If two or three are gathered in my name, 
there am I in their means. Kaya tingnan natin, ano? Bakit tayo nahihirapan na maramdaman ng Diyos? Baka hindi tayo gathered in His name. Baka ang ating pamilya ay watak-watak. Baka ang aking mga kaibigan ay hindi ko nakaibigan ngayon. My dear brothers and sisters, we still have time. Ito, buhay pa tayo. Pwede pa tayong lumapit. Don't wait for the time na malamig na na bang kayo. Huwag naman sana ganun. Yung iyong sasabihin ay, I am sorry. Kasi wala nang pagkakataon yon. We still have time. Alam po ninyo doon sa huling bahagi ng Fratelli Tutti, sinabi po ni Pope Francis, ano, let be dialogue a conduct of everyone for a more fraternal society. Let common cooperation be a part of societal life. And mutual understanding, mutual knowledge, be a conduct and system of life. Maging mapag bukas po tayo. Yung open ka to dialogue. Maging breeds so that others tumulay. Ikaw din, makapunta sa kabila. And with this, my dear brothers and sisters, siguro po, bababago natin sa pagtugon natin sa Diyos ang mundong ito na hindi nag-aaway, hindi nagkakanya-kanya, kundi isang mundo na pinagaharian ng pag-ibig ng Diyos at ang bawat isa ay bukas, hindi pader. Ang puso ay may laman ng pag-ibig, hindi ng pagkasipayo at galit sa kapwa. Please all stand. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, From there, he, he will, will come, come to judge the, the living and the dead. And the dead. I, believe I believe in the in Holy Spirit, Spirit the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of, sins, of sins, the resurrection of the body, of the body and, and life everlasting. everlasting. Amen. Today, Jesus reminds us that where two or three gathered in His name, He is in their midst. He also tells us that the prayer offered in His name will surely be granted by our Heavenly Father. Encouraged by His promise, we say, In the name of Jesus, Father, hear us. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear us. For the universal church, that she may never grow tired of proclaiming the gospel of conversion and forgiveness to all nations. Let us pray to the Lord. In, In the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus Father, Father hear, hear us. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop, and all those who hold a position of authority in the Church, that they may accomplish with charity and courage their task of warning the faithful against moral failings. Let us pray to the Lord. In, In the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus Father, Father, hear us. us. For all our brothers and sisters who have been violating the law of the Lord, 
that they may heed his exhortations to conversion. Let us pray to the Lord. In, In the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus Father, Father, hear, hear us. us. For all those who are inclined to condemn others harshly, that they may not forget the primacy of Christian charity, let us pray to the Lord. In, In the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus Father, Father, hear, hear us. For all grandparents, that God may grant them good health and the simple joys of experiencing the love and care of their children and grandchildren. Let us pray to the Lord. In, In the, the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus, Father, Father hear, hear us. For each of us, that we may learn to accept corrections with humility and correct others with charity. Let us pray to the Lord. In the, In the name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus Father, Father, hear us. Now in the silence of our hearts, let us offer to Him our own personal petitions. All of this we ask you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all be seated. For all those who have envelope offerings, you may drop them at our collection boxes. Lord, we gather today in your house, we kneel down and pray. We ask for your mercy as we open our hearts to receive. all stand. Pray now, my dear brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and peace, Graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you lay the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made, and for every praise you in your mighty works, through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name For 
those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are holy indeed, holy, O Lord, the founts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in your name, into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gilbert, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Please all stand. Let us now sing together the prayer Jesus taught us. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive. 
forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. For those who cannot kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are always invited to receive him in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. See with me, Lord, that I may never forget you. See with me, Lord, because. 
second collection is intended for the continuing development of the parish and national shrine of St. Padre Pio. Thank you for your offering.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dadasalin po natin ang panalangin ng pagtitiwala kay Santo Padre Pio. Padre Pio, taga Pietralcina, Mongheng Banal, pintakasing santo ng milenyong kasalukuyan, gabay namin sa pagtahak sa landasing makalangit, takbuhan sa pangangailangan, huwara na ang pagtitiis. Sa iyo namin inilalapit aming mga kagipitan. Sa iyo po ibinibilin kalusugan at kabuhayan. Di man karapat dapat, kami po ay pagbigyan, bendisyonan at basbasan, maging ganap sa buhay. Lumayo nawa kami, umiwas sa kasalanan, lumapit lagi sa Diyos, maging matatag at matibay. Sa mabuting balita ng pagliligtas, turuan mo kami nawa, sa tuwi na ay makinig, magnilay at sumampalataya. Amin pong pakiusap itong mga kahilingan, Puso ay nagsisisi, nagtitikang taimtiman. Di na muling magkasala. Sunod lagi sa Diyos amang, kaisa ng Espiritu at ni Jesus na tagapamagitan. Amen. Magsipo muna po ang lahat para sa mga patalastas. Una sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansang Dambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, ang Osteria ay lugar na maaring puntahan at kaina ng mga bumibisita dito. Itinayo natin ito bilang bahagi ng pamantayan ng CBCP as a National Shrine. Bukas po ito kada Sabado at Linggo. Ikatlo, Panatilihin po natin ang kalinisan sa loob at labas ng simbahan. Hinihikayat natin ang klego or clean as you go dito sa pambansang Dambana. Paalala rin po na huwag tayong mag-iwan ng anumang kalat sa ating mga upuan. Tayo po ay may mga basurahan sa likod at gilid ng simbahan. Ikaapat, ipinaalam po sa lahat na gamit ang main arch entrance. Tayo ay may mga malalaking safe and free parking dito sa loob ng pambansang Dambana. Ikalima, palagi po nating tandaan na ang pambansang Dambana ay isang sagrado at banal na lugar. Mangyaring sa pagbisita natin dito ay sundin ang mga tama at ang kop na kasuotan, tanda ng pagsamba at pagbibigay galang sa ating Panginoon. At ikaanim, bilang paghahanda sa kapistahan ni Santo Padre Pio, sa ikasampu ng Setyembre ay magkakaroon tayo ng libreng medical consultation sa Obigaini Pediatrics, ophthalmology, ENT, and dental para sa libreng bunot ng ngipin. Meron din pong surgical mission. Ito ay operasyon tanggal bukol o tumor, loss-loss o hernia, bingot o cleft lip, at iba pang bukol na panlabas. Adhikain ang programang ito na makatulong sa walang kakayahang magpa-ospital. In collaboration with USD Medical Alumni Association, Through Dr. Wang Chai and RP Healthcraft Carrier Foundation Incorporated, headed by Dr. Sanchez and Dr. August Vergara. Kaugnay po nito, kami po ay humihingi sa inyo ng tulong pinansyal para sa pagkain ng ating mga doktor at pasyente para sa gawaing ito. Makipag-ugnayan lamang po sa opisina para sa mga interesado. Ang Marami pong salamat at mangyaring panatilihin natin ang kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating simbahan. Maari na po tayong magsitayo para sa pagbabasbas ng mga religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa taimtim na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuhos mo 
ang iyong bindisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin, ang aming mga rosaryo, imahen, mga dasalan na nagpapaalaala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin upang ang lahat ng dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tulanan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ng mga santo magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass has been offered. Thanks be to God. Thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Proclaim His name. Proclaim his name, give thanks to the Lord.